It's a billion dollar industry, banking on boosting your energy and manufacturers are cashing in. From herbal supplements to pills claiming to boost your metabolism, it's a wide open market with hardly any oversight. I think they work. Mike Woods has been using energy pills on and off for the past 10 years. He works a graveyard shift as a truck driver and needs all the energy he can muster before getting behind the wheel. I work weird hours. I'd be at work at 4.30 in the morning, so some days I feel like I need someone to help wake me up. When he returns home in the afternoons, this father of three still doesn't have time to rest. From schoolwork and errands to taking care of the family dog, there's a lot to squeeze in. Have you tried, you know, coffee or other alternatives prior to using these pills, or were the pills always your go-to? Um, I, I never liked coffee until the last couple years, so it was all, a Mountain Dew didn't seem to do anything, you know, a, a pop. So an energy pill, it seems like it has more of a kick. It actually wake you up. With the dietary supplements, it can be tricky since they're not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration that we can't always be sure that what it says on the label is actually in the label. Jonathan Scott is a registered uh, dietitian and doctoral candidate at The Ohio State University. When I asked his professional opinion about these pills... I think most people see the, the name on the front, the labeling, and think that, that that's their go-to. They're not thinking about the consequences that that it may have on their body. And Consequences, Scott says, can range from headaches and sleep deprivation to increased heart rates and more serious conditions. Side effect I've noticed sometimes, not very often, but it's kind of jittery. Like you're I'm sitting there and it's kind of jittery. There very well could be long-term effects from taking these things because, again, we don't really know what's inside of it. The FDA banned the use of ephedra and dietary supplements several years ago after discovering some dangerous side effects. But Scott argues there are still a lot of ingredients within energy pills people simply haven't done their homework on. So many times manufacturers will disguise the, the actual ingredients in there, whether they write the scientific name for it or actually list its more common street name. We looked up some of these common ingredients in a medical directory. And we found that one ingredient in particular, yohimbin, has been associated with cardiac problems and seizures. Not knowing the strength of these things or exactly what's in them, it's, it's hard to say. The caffeine content may be similar to a couple cups of coffee a day per pill, but if you're taking multiple pills a day over an extended period of time, it may have potential adverse side effects. Effects Mr. Wood says he would rather do without if they could potentially compromise his health. I have three daughters, so <clears throat> I can be a little tired rather than not be around, <laughs> you know. I'm A.J. Ross, Fox 28 News.